Hi everyone, so today I want to show you a 6x6 pop-up canopy front card. Now, I've previously done a double version of this, but I wanted to do a single version and just show you a different way of doing it. Um, and so I've actually used not your normal kind of a die. So this die here is one I've had for a long time. I've no idea where I got it from, but you could use just a normal circle die. You could do all sorts with it. So this is the die that I had. So it's got like a this piece here. And it actually obviously cuts out the center as well as all these little dots that you can see. And then this piece comes with it and that just goes in the middle. Um, and so I thought, oh, because I don't, I don't think I've, I think I may have used this once. I don't even know where I got it from. I think I might have been given it. I don't know. But anyway, um, I just really wanted to use it because it's really pretty and it does make a really nice pattern. I just never use it. So that's what I decided to do on this one. Uh, on this card so the papers I've used are my digital pack Diantha streams um, and as I say at the end of the video I should tell you now as well just in case you don't get to the end of the video um, these this Dianthus here that you can see the actual pictures here the photos are of actual Dianthus in my garden um, and that's what inspired the paper pack if I'm honest I went out to the garden I was like oh my Dianthus are doing really well I'm going to take a picture of them and use them in papers. So that's what I've done. So I took a picture of them and they're, they're the photos I took. And then I've used them to make some papers with and done some other prints and bits and bobs. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. And I've also done, there's a whole sheet in that pack as well. There's actually three sheets that are bonus sheets. And you can actually cut out the Dianthus from my garden in different sizes and use them on your project. So there you go. Got a little piece of my garden on your cards. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the card for today. So. Um, this will fit in an envelope for a 6x6 card. It all folds down flat. You just press the little, press that down like that and that folds that flat. That's where you've got the little concertina bit at the bottom there. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so for this card, you're going to need either a 6x6 card blank or a piece of 6x12 base card. So I've got a piece here and all we're going to do is we're just going to fold it in half. So I've just scored it in half at six inches. Okay, so that's that one done. I can actually go ahead and fold it. Now I need to strengthen the back of this because this is a bit flimsy, but I'll do that in a moment. Next, you need two more pieces of base card. So you need one piece that is five by seven and one piece that is four by six. So on both of these pieces, you need to score along the long edge and you're gonna score at half an inch, at one inch, and at one and a half inches, then you're going to turn it round and on the other end, you're going to score at half an inch. So we're going to do the same on this one. So half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and on the other end, half an inch. Okay, so with these two pieces here, what you want to do is the piece that is just half an inch, that's just going to be a mountain fold. And then at the bottom here, you're going to go mountain, valley, mountain. So you should end up with two pieces that are like that. So you've got your half inch tab at the top and your um, concertina bit at the bottom. So both of them are the same. So now what we need to do is go ahead and add some mats and some layers. So on your base card, you need a mat piece that's five and three quarter by five and three quarter and a pattern piece that is five and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. OK, so you end up just basically with a temp fold card um, with your mat and pattern on the front. So now we're going to bring in our other two pieces. Now, there are different ways you can do this. So when I did my double one, I did one where I put like left a border so I actually cut it out so this is like a double so if you imagine we're going to do basically this so like a single version so um I did one where I did it this way around like this so I actually cut out the pattern piece here slightly bigger aperture than I did the mat below so I had to cut them separately and then on the front here I didn't give any I didn't do any border at all because I used my foliage to kind of make a kind of a border so for this one, so you can do either way if you want to, um, but for this one, what I decided I was going to do was use a slightly different die. So I've got this die, which I was given ages ago, and I have no idea where it came from. But what I thought I'd do is have this piece 
as being the biggest piece which will go on the front here and then this one which is just slightly smaller will be there so because of that I need to do the, the, the front piece first and then do this one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick my pattern piece on the front so I've got a pattern piece that is three and a half by three and a half in fact I think I did this slightly bigger yeah, so this is actually three and a, three and three quarters by three and three quarters because my die is so big. So I needed to make it so that at least I could fit the die on without too much, too much hassle. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick this down. Now, because this is um, laser printed paper, I'd normally want to use glue because I want to cover the whole of the back because of this die. But because I can't really do that, because what's going to happen is that the print will come off. I'm going to have to use double sided tape and I'm literally going to cover the entire back section of this pattern paper with double sided tape. If you've got double sided adhesive sheets, something like Stick It or I think Woodwear do them, there's various different ones on the market, then you can go ahead and do that. That is also another option, but I'm just literally going to do outside and then the middle and then put two either side of the middle and then that should accurately kind of pretty much cover the whole sheet there's a few gaps but it's all right a few little gaps like that is fine it's just you don't want big massive gaps so I'm just going to finish off putting the last piece on here and then I'm just going to go ahead now and stick this onto the front of this one Okay, so I've done that. I've gone to suck that down. I've got a very, very small border, but that's how it has to be. So now we're going to lay this die on, trying to get it as central as you possibly can. And I'm just going to tape it down so it doesn't move because I really don't want it moving anywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead now and run this through my die cutting machine. Okay, so a little tip when you're sticking um, double sided tape, not double sided, washi tape on to make sure that your die doesn't move make sure you stick it on an area you don't want so this central bit here i don't need this circle and i deliberately made sure that i stuck my washi tape so that it was on the part that i knew i wasn't going to want rather than on here because i had a feeling it might take the print off and it has so i'm glad that i did that so now i'm just going to go ahead and just take out all of this bit here and i'm just going to pop all of my little holes out Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut that out. Now, I was wondering and toying with the idea of putting a backing so I've got something behind all these little tiny cutouts and then cut in a circle the same, this same size just so you've got something behind there. But I'm going to leave it, I think. We'll see. It might, mm, I might change my mind. Um, right, so next what we need to do is take the next piece, this is the next biggest piece, and take a piece of pattern paper that's four and a half by four and a half, although I think I've done mine four and three quarters because I wanted, I didn't want such a big border. So four and three quarter by four and three quarter, and I'm going to head and I'm going to stick this on. And again, I'm just going to play very careful attention to the center because in a minute we're going to use this little die to cut that middle out. Okay, so now I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one in and then I am going to just squash this all down so it's nice and flat, squash this down on top and get it so that it is even, so it's nice and central on the top, we've got the same border all the way around. I'm then going to take this smaller circle, lay it on, get that even in the centre and then I'm going to washi tape it into position again, making sure that I've got more washi tape on the actual inside rather than the outside of the so I'm going to inside it on the circle rather than this outside piece here I'm now going to run that through my die cutting machine okay so I've put it through so now hopefully it should have cut I'm just going to very carefully peel this off I tend to reuse my washi tape and actually that time it hasn't taken doesn't, doesn't look like it's taken any of the print off so that's good but um, as I said you just you, you know just be careful just in case it does so that is that die done. So now what we want to do is layer everything up. So we're going to add some red tape here and some red tape here and the same on this one. So both of those two tabs on both pieces.
Okay, so I've gone ahead and added the tape just at the top there and at the very bottom on the tab, the same on this one here. And then what I want to do now is go ahead and lay it onto the front. So making sure that this is a tent fold card, you want to take your largest one and I'm going to take the backing off part of this top section like that. And then I just want to fold that tab over. So there's my sticky tab. And then I'm just going to continue this bit up so I know roughly where I'm sticking it. And you want to stick it oh, nice and centrally so you've got a, an even border all the way around the outside um, like that. And then just peel this backing back and stick that down. So now you've got like a, a flappy bit. Now if you want to stick anything behind there, now's the time to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my top one on. I'm going to leave this and then we'll do this at the end. Just because then if I change my mind I do want to stick something underneath, I can. So now we're going to take this one and again do the same again. So just fold that back. Concertina this bottom section up, take this one and then we're just going to lay it on top making sure we've got that even border all the way round plus the even aperture in the middle. So it's going to be about there like that and then we're just going to go ahead and oops, stick this down. So then that leaves you with two flappy bits like this. So now you want to decide what you want to put if you want to put anything in the middle you can if you want to put anything on acetate going across any of these apertures you can etc so i'm now going to decide what it is i want to put in the middle okay so i've cut out a bit of a strip of acetate you might may or may not be able to see that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on now i know this, this is not the side i'm going to be putting it on i'm going to put it on the other side but just for the just for now so i can kind of see where i need to apply my red tape I'm going to put it there I'm going to use some really thin red tape and just put a little line of it either side on those ends so then I'm just going to peel off the backing of those two and they are going to get stuck underneath and all this does is just a little support for my greeting so I'm going to get this card just line it up, get it in the middle, get it straight as well, like that. And then that needs to go underneath, make sure it's nice and straight, like that. And then we've got something then to stick our happy anniversary on with. So that's going to go on there like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. I'm just going to put a line of tape on the back because then I know I'm not going to end up putting it where. I don't want tape to be and then I'm going to turn this over and just stick this down okay so there's my uh, greeting nice and safely in and it looks like it's kind of floating because you're thinking how is that being held there but obviously you've got that secret bit of acetate behind so now we're going to go ahead take off the backing off of this tab here And we're going to fold it flat, concertina it down, and just stick it into place. So once you've done that, you're then going to bring this over. If you want to put anything on here, then now's the time to do it. I think it would look nice to have something glittery behind the back of that, but I'm going to leave it, I think, for now. So I'm going to take off the backing off here, and then we're just going to stick this tab down as well. And so there's your canopy card. So I'm just going to add a few little gems on it. Just, um, I might put some around here maybe. I feel like it needs something, like a bit of a bling. So I'm just going to put a few gems on it and then we are done. Okay, so I'm going to decide I'm going to stick some of these little iridescent gems. These are from Lucy's shop. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're really nice. Um, and I'm using my new Dovecraft gem pickup tool with the wax tip, which is actually really, really good. So I've just taken out some gems. I'm going to go ahead now and stick them down. Okay, so there's the finished card. And obviously that's a side profile. It stands out like that. Now I need to go ahead and also add in a white piece in the middle here so I can write my message on and also to stabilize it because that's a little bit, it's not very um, thick, that card. So yeah. 
But yes, that's the card for today. So I hope you liked it. Please go and check out um, my digital papers on Etsy. This is the Dianthus um, paper pack. Uh, yeah, and so yeah, go and check it out. These photos here, this this paper at the back here is actually of actual Dianthus in my garden. So I went out and took photos and then made them into papers. So uh, yeah, so you're actually you're actually having photos of my Dianthus there. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it. Please go and check that out. Um, don't forget to like, comment, li uh, hit the notification bell, subscribe. That's all in the wrong order, but you know what you need to do. Um, and yeah, I'll see you again next time.